Sophia lived all her life in the United Kingdom. One day, she suddenly experienced difficulty in speech. Her speech pattern changed so dramatically that people around her thought that she had developed a French accent. This is the rare medical condition, foreign accent syndrome. Before we start, I want to make it clear that these patients do not develop any fluency in a foreign language. They speak the same native language, but differently resembling a foreign accent. To understand this medical condition, first we have to understand how normal speech works. Let's imagine you want to speak a certain word. The motor cortex is where movements are initiated. There are separate, specialized areas in the motor cortex to control vocal cords and other muscles of speech. But it's not where the words are formed. Word formation occurs in a special area of the brain called Broca's area. It will then send signals to the motor cortex to initiate complex muscle movements of vocal cords and other muscles of speech. The cerebellum of the brain helps to coordinate these movements. If the Broca's area of the brain is damaged, you'll still know what to speak, but you'll have trouble generating the words. The condition is called Broca's aphasia. This is a speech disorder, but others around you can mistake this for a different accent. Broca's aphasia is not the only cause of foreign accent syndrome. Damage to the motor cortex and cerebellum can also create speech disorders that can be mistaken as foreign accents. These brain areas can get damaged due to strokes, multiple sclerosis, brain trauma, or brain tumors. Foreign accent syndrome can occur even without any brain lesions. There's a psychiatric disorder called conversion disorder. When there's a stressful event in life, the patient unconsciously converts the stress into physical symptoms. Therefore, in these patients, the cause is not anatomical, but rather functional. Diagnosis is done after an evaluation with a multidisciplinary team of neurologists, neurolinguists, psychiatrists, and speech and language pathologists. Brain imaging is conducted to rule out a brain lesion. The treatment is not simple. Supportive treatment can be offered with speech therapy, but the true cause of the disease should be identified and treated to get a complete cure. Thanks for watching it. I make animations about interesting medical cases, and I need your feedback to improve them. Please let me know what you think in the comments section. Subscribe and press the bell icon for more animations.